Lonnie, we finally made it. It's our day. We've waited for this moment for so long, and I'm so excited to experience the best day of my life with the love of my life. I remember when I first noticed you in our intro drawing class and instantly being enamored by everything about you. Your brown eyes and your dimpled smile that lit up the entire room. And now we're getting married. Life is so crazy, but I'm ready to take this wild ride with you. To enjoy every high and endure every low together. I love you more than anything in life, Lonnie. So let's stop writing in pencil and break out the pens. Let's make it official. Those rings are waiting patiently in boxes for us. Let's do this thing. I wish I could tell you how much I appreciate you. I appreciate how kind of a soul you are, how your number one priority has always been to make sure Lonnie feels seen and loved and beautiful. I appreciate how much you honor her in all aspects of life. I appreciate how every time you look at her, it's like you're falling in love all over again. And I don't think I'm the only one that sees that. Joel, it's October 1st. Today is the first day of your favorite month of the year. Today is also the day that we practically swore we would never make plans on to ensure the house was decked out in Halloween decor. And here we are with no plans and no intentions of decorating. But now, October 1st has a whole new meaning to us. Today now marks the day I get to call you my husband. Today I will marry you with no hesitation or doubt and make promises to you that I vow to keep for the rest of our lives. Money. The amount of life we have experienced together in the last 20 years has created an endless supply of stories. So many fun memories, but we've been through so much more than all the laughs and the giggles and the silly music dance routines in the attic of your old house. We've walked through some really deep and dark valleys together and have been each other's shoulder to cry on through it all. There's never been a moment I ever had to wonder if you were there for me. Art 121, aka 2D Design, freshman year of college, second semester, University of South Dakota Fine Arts Building. The moment Joel strutted into that room is actually the first time I'd ever seen him. And when I did, my first thought for some reason was, wow, what a goober. I hope he doesn't sit over here. He seems kind of weird. <laughs> But wouldn't you know it, without any thought or hesitation, that's exactly what he did. For, and for as long as I live, I'll always look back at that first day of class and feel fortunate that he did decide to set that table. I don't know where I'd be if he hadn't. I can't believe how far we've come since drawing class at USD how much each of our lives have changed to land us here. 
I'm so grateful when you said yes to having lunch with us all those nine plus years ago after drawing class. In just a little bit, I will stand before you, God, and our family and commit all of me to all of you. So standing here in front of our closest family, I promise my heart and myself to you completely. To reiterate what I said to you a year ago when I proposed to you at this very spot, I love the story we've written so far together and I promise to keep writing it together forever. I promise to pray with you, to dream with you, to encourage you, and God willing, build a family with you. I vow to be your biggest advocate just as you are mine, and I vow to choose you daily. You make loving you so easy. Till death do us part, I love you. Joel and Lonnie have made their covenant of marriage together before God and all here present. My solemn vows by the joining of hands, by the giving and receiving of rings, therefore I declare that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Lonnie, this is the moment you've been waiting for. You may kiss each other. Lastly, thank you for waiting for me. Because of you, I get to become Lonnie Yogam today and get to celebrate with our favorite people on what will now be the best day of our lives. For the last time, Lonnie McCumber.